the Pen Whisperer here. Went back with another sick review. So uh, basically today I've got this um, this Stabilo Color Gel 0.4 pen that I actually got in Serbia a few years back, and uh, you know me, just digging around the old stuff. Thought I'd uh, do a quick review for you guys. So without further ado, let's get to the <laughs> meat and potatoes of it. Oh crap! I'm just get that out of the way all right sorry yep yeah. now that'll be explained in a future video yeah. okay so basically what we have here is the um stablo color gel 0.4 pen and um i mean off the bat i was really impressed with this pen definitely just like a lot of click to it when you uh take that cap off you know it's just like a, it's a nice cap solid cap definitely the better caps i've seen on a pen like one thing you gotta know about the Germans and uh, cause Stabilo is actually a German con con uh, company. Sorry, I did a lot of research on it. You know, one thing you gotta know about the Germans, man. They wanna do something, they get it done. They go right here. Let's see, how does it match up? Oh wow, it's actually really nice. It actually writes quite well. Star of David, yeah it is actually. Nice. Actually, you know, the paint Gotta kind of shake it up a little bit, you know, just, uh, you know, it's, it depends dying. I gotta replace the cartridge, but uh, hopefully you got a little taste right there. You know, six point star, you know, it just what I thought was fitting for this uh, little scene that I had going on here, prior activity to this review that I was doing, I thought I'd kind of mix them together, but uh, you know, it's kind of just like how it writes, it writes pretty well. So as you guys just saw there, this pen actually performs very well for you know, any kind of use you want to get out of it. It's still got the barcode on it, I don't know why, I think it was kind of cool. Um, it's definitely a really good pen. I'd recommend this pen to uh, anyone looking to write anything. You know, just kind of pen you just keep on in case you need it. More like an EDC, everyday carry pen. Um, yeah, this is kind of an impromptu uh, review here, you know, I wasn't really fully ready for this. but. Uh, you know, I started getting the comments, yo guys, yo, do the Stabilo, do the Stabilo, you know, the Stabilo, bro. You know, but, uh, yeah, so I'm glad I was able to, uh, oh my focus, whoa, 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 whoa. So I, was, I was able to bang this one out for you guys, and, uh, you know, the, the left-handed writing, actually, that's what I want to talk about, left-handed writing with this pen is actually quite good. As far as the writing goes, but the smudging is absolutely horrible, you know, it lets out a lot of ink per, per movement, I guess. Definitely very inky pen, that's for sure. But uh, yeah, I'd, I'd recommend this pen. You know, give maybe a 3.5 out of 5, just because it's not very really portable. You know, it's not the clicky kind. You know, if you if you lose the cap, pretty much fucked. But uh, yeah, you know, take care of this pen. It's definitely a great pen. I would recommend it to a friend. And oh, fuck, yeah. And uh, stay tuned for the uh, roundtable coming out tomorrow or so. Thanks for watching, guys. You know who I am. Pen Whisperer, subscribe, comment, you know, links down below to, uh, you know, Twitter, Instagram, and I'll see you guys later.